If you're a Roblox developer at all, you've likely seen this item. It's called configuration, okay? And, it, and the description says, it's an object that can be placed under parts to hold value objects that represent the parts configuration, okay? So the whole idea of this thing is to store value objects, which in case you don't know, it's these things. So it's like a, you know, we have bool value, brick color value, a string value, and what these are is they're just objects that have a property called value. And then this property is whatever the object is called. So if it's a string value, then the value has to be a string. So like, hello, right? Or if it's a bool value, then the value has to be a bool, meaning a true or false, right? That's sort of the idea. Now, the thing about configurations is that they are insanely outdated for two reasons, okay? Number one, they're basically a folder. Like literally, they are literally just a folder, right? Configuration and folder are the same exact thing, except configuration has a different name and a different little icon. So like we can even check this with a script, right? So I can do like script.parent. Um, and let's see, what what is there any are there any like special functions of this that the, the folder doesn't have? And no, there isn't, right? So literally, like script-wise, it's the same. Name wise, it's the same. Everything's the same. The whole, its whole purpose is that you can add values inside of this, right? Which which seems to make sense. Like you're like okay, you know, we have folders, but like I understand stuff like configurations. Like maybe we have like a tool that's meant to be like um like a like a sword or something, right? And maybe we want to have different configurations for the sword, right? Maybe we want to have maybe we want to have a configuration that's gonna be like the damage, like how much damage the sword deals, right? And then maybe we, we want to have like the range of the sword, right? So like how far the sword reaches, right? So this seems all good, right? Like this seems like, okay, that makes sense. I understand this. And it makes perfect sense until you realize that like attributes exist. <laughs> you know what I mean? If, in case you don't know, I mean, I have a whole video on them, but an attribute is a thing where you can give it a name, like damage. You can select the, the data type, so either a string, a true or false, or a number. And then it's just going to create a value for that specific item with whatever name you gave it with this value. And inside a script, you can you know add attributes or you can remove them. You can change um, the values. You can get the values. So you can do basically everything with attributes, right? So you could either you know do, go the extra route of adding a configuration, adding this, adding whatever, or you could just add a attribute. There's no downside to doing this. There's only an upside in the sense of that you're not clogging up the workspace with more items. Okay. Why not add just more functions to them? So for example, let me, let me, let me show you one example. Okay. For, let's say again, we you know, we have our, um, two int values, right? That one is a, you know, damage value and one is a range value. Okay. And damage maybe is like, I don't know, 30, let's say, and then the range is going to be like 10 or something, right? Something that would be cool that configurations could be doing, you know, if you like add a script inside of them. Um, do you know how sometimes like some games have these like weak effects, you know, like maybe maybe you have your sword and, you know, it has the damage and range. And then maybe someone threw like a weakness potion at you or something. Right. And then what if what you wanted to do was you wanted to um, decrease all number values inside a configuration item by like 50 percent? OK, what if you wanted to have all of the values inside of a configuration, right? Well, obviously what we could do right now is we could say like, okay, we can, we can just loop. So I can, I can make a variable for config being the script.parents, right? And I could say for i comma v in config get children, like so. Do So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop through um, the configuration, right? And we can say if v, and v being the, the item, right? If v, is a int value so we know that we're dealing with an int value then we can just say that v dot value is equal to v dot value divided by two right like so 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 let's say if, if i run the game right now and we look at the workspace right <laughs> jump scare studio buddy jump scare okay <laughs> um and if we look at the configuration then damage is now 15 and range is now five right now I had to do this whole loop, but what if, what if instead of doing this, what if, con what if configuration 
just had a function, right? Called something like, I don't know, divide, right? Like imagine, imagine if it had this and then you could, you could give it like a number, you could say like two, right? So, so what if what this function would do is it's going to go through all of the children of the configuration and if they're int values, then it just divides them by whatever number they, that you give it. Or maybe we have multiply or add or, or, or like subtract, like imagine like configurations actually would have such a cool purpose, right? Now, I guess at that point they would, they would become better folders. So <laughs> like maybe we want to add more stuff to folders, which again, that's just a separate conversation of like, um, you know, just making stuff a lot more, um, like easier to do. Like Roblox could actually do a lot of things as functions. Like Roblox should be adding more functions to make things just faster for developers. Right. I guess that's what module scripts are for, but like, I don't know. It just feels nicer when it's built in. You don't have to download some module script when like Half, half of the developers don't even know what a module script even is or how it works, which I have a video on that, uh, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, th th those are configurations. So let me know what you think of them um, or not. I don't know, up to. These things are, yeah, very useless. So right now they have no use. Just use attributes. Go to the description in the comment section. Check out my amazing, like, twenty fourteen dollars course. I don't know, however, however much it costs, bro. And we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.